How's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video because in this video I'm actually using the Elegy for a race and I haven't owned an Elegy in GTA for ages but I saw that there's a new 2017 GTR and it looks pretty damn cool and I really liked the actual paint color on it so I thought I'd actually get an Elegy, try to do some nice customization on it to see if I can get that orange paint color and it looks really nice, it's a nice looking car but it's probably even better when it comes to race so I always knew this car was good. I always knew this car was so fast in races because Bruffy's done all the tests on all the cars and this has been pretty much the fastest sports car in the game since obviously its release and that's because it's got so much traction so any corner in any race you can go so much fast around that corner you can carry so much speed and uh, by a couple corners after a few corners you'll be going pretty much max speed and you'll be going faster than anyone else in the race. So this is just like, this is just a Rockstar lobby. I'm actually surprised that I managed to get into some Rockstar races with a bunch of random people. And there's actually 26 people in this race. And I think catch up was turned off as well. So it was actually a pretty good race. And because I actually hadn't drove an Elegy in GTA for so long, I'd pretty much forgotten how quick this car is. And on the corners, it basically sticks to the road like glue. And you can go so fast around the corners and the car will barely spin out at all as long as you can kind of manage the throttle and uh, manage the steering a bit and uh, the brakes as well so although this car is really really quick it can be a little difficult to drive sometimes especially since because you're going to be taking a lot of corners at such high speed because the traction allows you to do it it can feel a little stiff uh, around some corners where sometimes it just doesn't turn as much as you want it to and it doesn't just feel as agile as some of the other sports cars because there's a lot of really really good sports cars to race in GTA all having their own kind of unique properties and way that they handle and this one is kind of a little bit different to all of them because uh, taking into all its factors you know especially that that huge traction it can it can handle a little bit differently and a little bit weirdly uh, to a lot of the other sports cars in the game so I'm not quite sure how many of you guys will have actually have driven this car in the past and realize how quick this car can be because when I actually tweeted this out on Twitter someone actually replied saying that they don't recall it being that fast and although it's not got a huge top speed is not accelerate blindingly quick compared to some of the other sports cars it's the traction around corners which is how it builds up so much speed and how you can uh, just maintain that overall speed compared to some other sports cars so I'm not sure if you're able to properly see it to its full potential in the gameplay however when you're actually driving this yourself, you'll notice it straight away, like one corner, you can carry so much speed around there. And it's not really a car that I see used very much in races lately as well, because there's, like I said, there's so many good sports cars. There's the race cars for the Jester and the Massacro. Uh, so many other sports cars that people just might assume are a lot faster than the LG, because the LG being a free car that probably loads of people got when they first started the game. People might have just started thinking that uh, now that there's loads of other sports cars to buy that those ones are probably going to be quicker than the LG but it is still a super quick car if you can manage to drive it to its full potential and people kind of figured that out quite uh, quite quickly especially in the racing community people realized how fast this car was and how good it was uh, around corners and people kind of really stopped using it a lot of people went to use different sports cars like Feltzer, Jester, uh, Massacro and no one really used the LG it's almost as if it was looked down upon because it was so good and people just wanted to use other stuff so it doesn't really seem to get used that much and that's kind of one of the reasons I actually wanted to uh, buy it again and try it out because I haven't used it in so long haven't seen it uh, raced in quite a while just wanted to give it a couple of races and uh, see how good it really was now although it's not one of the most fun sports cars to drive in the game but it's a free car so if you are new to the game and you just want a really good car to get you started this is definitely the one for you so uh, that pretty much wraps up this video I just wanted to kind of showcase how quick this car is because I myself had almost forgotten it so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video leave a like rating if you have enjoyed it you guys love the uh, the racing video that I uploaded previously so I'll try to be doing more of these similar types of racing videos in the future because you guys seem to really enjoy them so uh, thank you guys so much for watching leave a like rating if you have enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you are new let me know in the comments what your favorite sports car is to race in GTA. At the moment, I'd say mine is possibly between the Massacre and the Feltzer. Really do like both of those cars. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll hopefully see you all in my next one. See you later, guys.